Hey, this is Pierre from Notion Forms. In this video, I will show you how to create a lead generation form with Notion Form. So the first thing I need to have is to have set up my database in my Notion workspace, which I've already done. And in this database, I've created four columns, one for the name of the prospect, uh, their email, the reason for contacting me, and their budget. That's the four questions I want to ask when a lead comes on my website or get in touch, with, in, in touch with me, that's the information I need. So now that it's done, I can just check that my form is connected to Notion Forms and here I can see that it is. So now back to my Notion Forms account, I'm gonna create a new form, select the database, which is the database leads. And now I can start uh, customizing my form. So, um, I'm going to change a bit the texts, contact request, fill out this form, and I will get back to you within two days, let's say. Now I can um, check there's nothing I need to do here. Now it's just about the form structure. So how I want to be structured is to have the email after the name and the reason for contacting before budget. So here we're good. And I just want to make all these fields required because that's all information that I absolutely need. And now I'm just gonna customize the, the fields and the inputs a bit. So here, instead of name, I'm gonna say, what is your name in the email? I'm going to do the same. What is your email? So here I'm going to ask a question that might require uh, several lines of text from the um, visitor. And here I'm going to say, uh, why do you wish to work with me, for example? And for the budget, I'm just going to say, what is your budget? Here, that's all I need to do. Then I could uh, change the default theme and stuff about my form. In, uh, for example, putting a picture of my company here uh, with the logo and a cover picture, uh, maybe uh, of, my, of my startup, for example. I change the colors for, for my uh, branding. And, and so on, and even customize my text after submission. So here I could say, uh, I, amazing, I just received your request. And I could also set up an, an email notification to let me know that I've received an, um, a new request. So here I'm gonna input my email address. And now I'm all good with this form. I'm going to create it. And now we're going to test it. So here, what's my name? Pierre, uh, Pierre at gmail.com. Um, because you seem to be a good developer for the reason you want to work with me. And then what is your budget? I'm going to say a thousand and submit. So now I'm just going to go check in my leads. I have a new lead coming up and in my emails, I have actually received my new notion form request here with all the information. Now that you have created your form, you can use this URL to uh, behind example, your CTA on your website. And one example is for uh, myself and my personal portfolio that I built on Webflow. I have a Notion form behind my uh, Get In Touch With Me uh, CTA. And if I open it, you can see that I've designed my own uh, lead generation form on Notion Forms. 